What is the tribulation? The Bible gives several signs of the times that point to the return of Jesus Christ and an event the Bible refers to as the tribulation. Well, what's that all about and why is it important? Well, it's important because you might be living on this earth when this great event occurs and you want to understand what it's all about. Well, what is the tribulation? Well, the tribulation, the word itself means great sorrow and suffering. And what the tribulation is going to be is a time of great sorrow and suffering greater than ever before experienced on planet Earth. It's described as Daniel's 70th week, where in the book of Daniel, Daniel was predicting the future. And in his description there in Daniel chapter 9, a week actually equals seven years. A week, seven, seven years. And he's actually predicting Messiah to come the first time and be killed, which happened 69 weeks. He said it's going to be 69 weeks later, seven years, 483 years from when he made that prediction, Jesus Christ was killed in Jerusalem. And then the Romans came in and destroyed uh, Jerusalem. So, from the time of Daniel until Jesus, you had 483 years, 69 weeks. But then the clock stopped ticking. And it hasn't been ticking for 2,000 years in a time period we call the church age, when Jesus is gathering a bride, gathering his church. During this time, God has stopped the clock so that many, many, many people can be saved and become a part of his church, part of the bride of Christ. But at a time coming in the near future, there's going to be seven years of tribulation on the earth. And then Jesus will come to the earth at the end of that time and establish his millennial, his millennium, uh, time of millennium, the thousand year reign of Christ on planet earth. All this is described in Daniel in these chapters in Zechariah and most of the book of Revelation. There's three things I want you to understand about the tribulation today. One, it's terrible. It, it's, it, it's more terrible than anyone has ever experienced on planet Earth before. It's terrible. It's a time of great darkness. The Holy Spirit's taken out of the Earth. The church has been removed. The light has been turned off. It's a time of great spiritual darkness. It's a time of great deception. In the second half of the tribulation, people are going to be worshiping a, a uh, antichrist. They're going to be listening to a false prophet. There's going to be a lot of deception. It's a time of great disaster. Natural disasters like the world has never seen. Earthquakes, hailstorms, meteorites. It's a time of great plague, of great famine, great floods. A time of great disaster. It's a time of great destruction. Armies are going to be converging where more people have ever been killed in the wars leading up to Armageddon than have ever been killed on the planet Earth before. Millions and millions of people will die in these battles. It's a time of great oppression. When the Antichrist is in rule, he's going to oppress everyone who doesn't exactly follow exactly what he wants. A time of great oppression. It's a time of great persecution. If you're not following and obeying the Antichrist, you will be persecuted and killed for your faith. And beyond that, it's a time of great devastation. The, the earth is going to be devastated. Billions, billions of people will die during the tribulation. And I want you to understand, we've seen pockets of tribulation in the history of the world, but this is a global tribulation. This is going to be happening all over the earth. This is going to be affecting everybody on the planet. There's nowhere to hide. But the good news is, it's avoidable. It's avoidable. You see, if you trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, if you give your life to Him, if you choose to, to follow Him and become a follower of Jesus, you will miss the great tribulation. You'll go up uh, with Jesus in the rapture, and it can be avoided. Have you trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior? 
If you have, I want to encourage you, tell other people about Jesus so they can avoid the tribulation as well.